what is up youtube i heard that if they people say that if you do something crazy or something ridiculous in your videos people would stay tuned and watch it i just almost knocked down my light all right hope they got you guys attention let's get down into it trinity versus oneness um let's get into it man now trinity is essential it's the core of our faith because it's the doctrine of God, be depending um, of God, depending on how you view this, shows who you believe God is to be. Right now, oneness of Unitarians, who are people who do not hold to told to the Trinity, right, and uh, they believe God is one person and take on that God takes on different modes, right? And there are different aspects of oneness. People who have different views, maybe they might not take a mode, modalistic one person view, maybe may, might take something else. Um, um, but they do not hold to the Trinity view of God. And that's a serious issue. A majority of oneness people hold to works, a works-based salvation, right? And they have, um, and they, you have to speak in tongues and be baptized in Jesus only to be saved. And that's a false gospel. And the word says to reject anyone who preaches a false gospel, right? That's clear cut. There's no if, ands, or buts about that. And I have the conviction um, and I hold to that if you do not have the right Jesus, then you do not have the right gospel. And the Trinitarian view of Jesus in the, in the Godhead is what the Bible teaches. Now, the next question is often asked, are people who don't hold to the Trinity are not saved and not brothers and sisters in Christ? If they explicitly explicitly deny the Trinity, the doctrine of the Trinity, knowing what it teaches, then I cannot call you my brother or sister in Christ. But I believe that if you come across someone who doesn't hold to the doctrine of the Trinity and doesn't have a proper understanding of the Trinity, then it's I believe it's our duty to show them through the scripture that God is one in three persons. And after you do that, and it could take a day or two, or it could take a week. After you're doing that, after you do that, once um, that happens and they have a proper understanding, if they still deny the doctrine of the Trinity, even though they might have a salvation by grace through faith alone gospel, then I can't fellowship with them because they're, they still deny the Trinity, right? Uh, I cannot call them my brother or sister in Christ because they have a different Jesus. Therefore, they have a different God. Right, Jesus is God. He is He is the God Man. We believe in get one God, but in three persons. And um, yeah, so that's that's pretty much it, man. And and remember, guys, God is the ultimate judge. Who is saved and not saved? Um, and remember this as um, remember that point as you guys yourselves find yourself in situations encountering people, ministering to people. Right. God is the one. We are not the Holy Spirit. We cannot um, ultimately say who is saved and not saved. We can say if we're saved. Right. Because I, I believe that I'm saved. I, I could fully say I am saved. But we have to remember God is the ultimate judge. Hope these guys answering questions, guys, on this topic of the Trinity versus oneness. And by the way, go check out my recent live I did with Pastor Jeremy Collins, because that was an awesome live. It was two hours long. I don't know if you guys were able to. Go through that whole two hours in one sitting. You, um, if, unless you got the time, if you got the time. Hey, go through it. That was an awesome, greatly edifying live talking about unity. Um, and go check out and subscribe to my uh, my brother, Pastor Jeremy Collins' channel. Great channel. A lot of great things on there. Uh, he, he's a Presbyterian. I'm a Reformed Baptist. Eh, a little sketchy there. Now I'm just playing. Hey, he's a good brother in the Lord. Go check out and subscribe to his con uh, channel. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next one. God bless. Listen to this awesome outro. Hey.